Health and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to um, create and solve a Punnett square with codominance and incomplete dominance. So let's get started. This first one, you have a cross between a brown cow and a white cow that produces brown and white spotted pattern. What pattern of inheritance? Well, I know with this, since both brown and white are together, it's a third phenotype, and that would be an example of co-dominance. They are both cooperating. In other words, the co meaning together, they are working together. So now let's move to question B. It says, what percent of the cows would have spotted fur if a brown and white spotted cows cross with a homozygous brown cow? So I'm going to draw a Punnett square. And it's a little bit different writing the genotype whenever you have co and incomplete dominance. So what you do is you have all capital letters. So the first, the brown cow, it's homozygous, so it's going to be written big B, big B. Sometimes when they have incomplete, they'll write a little subscript. That kind of helps uh, identify that it's codominance or incomplete, but you don't have to. And then the spotted cow will be different because it's going to be the big B plus a W for brown, excuse me, W for white, or you could write it subscripts like this, okay? So again, you have two different subscripts. You have the brown cow, which is two capital letters, and then you have the spotted, which is the B and the W. So now I'm going to write these on just after this. You just fill out the Punnett square just like normal. So I'm going to fill it out very quickly. Okay, I'm going quickly here. And then I know that this is going to be brown. This is going to be brown. So there's two brown. And then this will be spotted. And you have two of those. So this will be 50% and 50%. Okay, so there's co-dominance. Now let's look at an incomplete dominance. Okay, and I'll help you with incomplete dominance because it says Bob loves growing flowers for his pal Kate. Her favorite flower, four o'clocks, are found in red, blue, and purple. Again, now we have a third phenotype but it is in between the red and blue. In between is kind of the key word, so it is incomplete dominance. So let's fill out the genotypes. Again, it's very similar to the codominance. Red will be written with big R, big R, blue with big B, big B, and purple now will be written with uh, a R or a B. And you could write these with a subscript, so I'll just do that real fast. Okay. Don't have to, but I'm just showing you. Okay, now let's go ahead and solve a Punnett square with this. Okay, so it says, what would happen if you cross a four o'clock red flowers with four o'clock blue flowers? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let's set up this Punnett square. So I have, let's see, what do I have? I have a, let's underline it. I have red and I have blue. So my blue is big B, big B. Red is big R, big R. Okay. I then just fill it in like a normal Punnett square. Okay. And I can already see the pattern. Okay. So now what we have is give the genotypes and phenotypes. Well, the genotypes, you really only have one. Big R, big B. So that would be that. And what percent? Well, it looks like how many would have red flowers? There's nothing there that's going to have all red flowers. So that's going to be zero. Why? Because you have none that are big R, big R. Remember, red equals big R, big R. And there's none of those. Okay, so that's zero percent. How about purple flowers? The in-between flowers, you have one, two, three, four, which is 100 percent because it's Four out of four boxes. And then finally, with blue, you're going to have zero. So there we go, setting up Punnett squares for incomplete and codominance. Hope this helps, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.